figured I'd just make this quick video response. Uh, I had a lot of people telling me I'm lying or I'm cheating and they have hidden wires and that they just don't believe the circuit can even work. Well, I'm in the middle of my yard. There can be no hidden wires anywhere. I'm in the middle of my farm. I'll turn it on and it will work. It won't look very bright because the sun is so intense out here. In fact, I think I can get that even brighter. I take something from my massive tool kit, like these, because what's occurring is we have a voltage drop from our bridge rectifier, so I will shut this off. I will snip this and resolder it when I get in the house and I'm done with the video. Remove these extra connections, not needed. So, now this thing should get even brighter. Yeah, it is even brighter. Not by much, but it's brighter. So tell me I'm faking it. Please tell me I'm faking it. I'd love to know how. In the middle of nowhere. I had people telling me I was secretly powering the light bulb from something under my uh, desk in my room. The radiant energy is still present here too. So I list the full circuit schematics for free on my Patreon. Anyone can replicate it. Radiant energy is still present. Can't really see it lighting up that much because of how uh, bright it is out here. If you notice, when I can, I can light this bulb with no impact drain on the source. Um, might even light in the ground too. I'm not sure if I can do it without shorting it out. Hmm. <laughs> Can't quite make good contact, but here it is, working, outside. Those were the connections I took off when I cut the rectifier. In fact, I'll even put these back away so I don't lose them. Tell me where my hidden wires are, please. Because there aren't any. And the sun is so intense out here, you can't, you, it makes that bulb look weak. Turn the LED lighting to ground. I can get my shadow in it. There we go, now you can see it. Probably even hear it ringing in the video. So 
Well, this video was to silence the skeptics that said I had hidden wires somewhere. So, sorry guys, you gotta come at me with something else because thousands of other people have replicated this and uh, there's nothing fake occurring with it. even try an LED bulb. We will try this one. That bulb is hot. LED bulb is lit too. And it looks dim being outside. Consuming much less power, of course. Something else I'd like to demonstrate is bulbs being run off the ringer while being powered up by two 9 volt batteries in series. So I have the batteries right here. I will shut you off. Um, I will now connect up the batteries regularly. Um, and it's lit. The bulb is lit. I'll get this guy out of here. How efficient is that for you? And we still have radiant energy present from two 9 volt batteries in series. And if I can get it, put it on the earth correctly, it would light on the earth as well. So, that's what was running it. I can connect this back up again. So, please tell me I'm faking it. It'll even run the incandescent highly efficiently. Look how crazy that is. Shouldn't be able to do that. This is how efficient this thing is. Bet you my radiant energy is even present in weird places like this little battery over here or this super cap. If that's lit, it's so dim I can't see it. But there's the bulb. Still have radiant energy present. shadow in here and that bulb actually looks slightly brighter than when I ran it off of that because the voltage was lower and you can hear the circuit ringing and again for those that doubt it I'll disconnect the little 9 volt I can even grab it. Here we go. It's out. Lit out. The two 9 volts in series are what's running it. And you can use this output, rectify it to DC, 
very rapidly and efficiently recharge batteries and get three to four times the life out of them you normally would when you use it to re as a battery charger, a 40 watt battery charger. Or you can just have highly efficient lighting. We'll even try different bulbs. Brought my whole little mobile toolkit out here. Just to silence the skeptics. And I guarantee you they're still going to complain about something. How's that one? Nice little heat light. How efficient do you want to get? That's a heat light. Being run off two 9 volt batteries in series from the ringer, the extra output. And I didn't even take the output from these extra wireless coils and combine it with that output. I'm uh, just keeping it like this for simplicity. So. Try this LED. Lights the LED, no problem. Very nice and bright. This thing generates a tremendous amount of RF that's contained within the coils and it gets recaptured and it can be used to do real, wor real work. So we'll just let that run for a bit outside. Really, really blow your mind. Be portable if you want. Portable light. It's like an enhanced power source. Let's see underneath it. Here you go. Just walk away with it if I wanted. And that's getting hot. And uh, this output would be a spark gap to ground. I think that's why I saw the bulb flickering and getting brighter. Put that in the ground a bit. And that is in by no means a good proper earth connection. And if you ground that into a deep earth connection through the spark gap, that bulb will get brighter. And it will draw less power. And I imagine if you wanted to virtually ground that into the air, you would send that, you would connect that spark gap to a big insulated metal plate antenna. That could also work. So you're seeing it yourself right here. This is probably the brightest of the lights and it's giving off heat. Bulb is very warm. Give you a good look at it. I'll read it to you. It is a six watt LED. And the base is very hot. Again, this heat light is a 40 watt little heat light for uh, keeping little chicks little chickens warm if you hatch them. Probably at about 30 watt intensity there. And we are outside. That's how efficient this thing is. And again. In the middle of my farm. In fact, in this video, I am even going to try and move it. I'm 
Should have brought a bigger book with me. Ooh, something shocked me. I just got a nasty shock to Earth. Here we go. Completely portable. Can walk in my shed with it. Very efficient lighting, very efficient battery charger. It's what the ringer can do. Highly efficient. And like I said, you ground that other output, you're very efficient. Here's a good uh, demonstration of the light output. This is my solar shed. Grid tie inverter is on. Actually, we could really see how good that light output is in the dark. Look at that. That is a tremendous light output. That is very good. Can light up a whole room with that. Hand is falling asleep because all the weight is in on one side. I'm a farmer too, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. So I'm not sure where else you want me to take it. We'll put it somewhere there's shadows. And you can kind of see how bright it is outside under the shadow of an old boat. I'm scared to put it down again because I got a nasty shock to ground with this thing. I don't want to have to re-pick it up and re-adjust my grip. That's the output that shocked me to ground. And again, I could have a halogen bulb run there, anything I want, it would be just as efficient. As long as you limit this output to 40 watts, it's impedance matched and highly efficient. We'll go inside my work shed again, because it's dark. So please tell me how I'm faking this. Actually this video is going on too long. I think I'm going to end it right at the, right back over here.
So that is that, folks, and that is pretty warm. Got this all in frame. Don't know what else you'd want to see in the video. Um, that's what was doing that. Highly efficient. Here's underneath it. Here's the book. Just a stand. Nothing hidden in the book. It's not like I hollowed it out and put anything in it. So, this video is going on too long, and I hope that satisfies the skeptics.